Hello and welcome everybody to this beginner shy guide. Today, I'll be teaching you a few things to help you start your adventures in Black Desert Online. The shy is a completely unique class to BDO and it's currently the only support in the game. They do reduce damage in PvP and have far fewer skills than the other classes available. But one thing that makes the shy stand out is their multiple group healing skills and ability to buff and debuff. Her main hand is called a flow ring, which is a large boomerang that she carries on her back. Her off hand is called a Viklari, which is a lantern that she carries on her side. At level 56, the Shy unlocks her talent skills. Unlike the other classes that uses an awakening weapon, the Shy uses a talent weapon that is called a soul, which summons various instruments for her to play. It is used to buff her allies and to debuff her enemies. The soul can also be enhanced to give extra stats, which empowers her buffs by a significant amount. Shy can be very weak in 1v1s due to her reduced PvP damage. However, with her abilities to buff herself and up to 10 of her allies, she can be an amazing support in small scale and large scale PvP. In PvE though, Shy can be very strong due to her high PvE damage and a large amount of hits while using her flow ring. Shy has an amazing sustain and is especially strong at providing that sustain to the rest of the group in in-game PvE spots. So sit back, relax, while I go over the things needed for you to be the best Shy that you can be. Now that you've been introduced to the Shy class, here are a few things you need to know. Due to the lack of mobility and protection, it can be very hard for you to avoid damage. Let me show you a few things that you will need to know to make sure you are staying safe. There are going to be three icons to help keep you protected. The blue shield that indicates you have a forward guard. Yellow symbol that indicates that you have super armor. And an orange symbol to indicate that you have an iframe. A forward guard helps protect your character from taking damage. If you were to face your enemy and block the attack successfully, you'll notice that your forward guard meter indicated by a blue shield will go down and any damage you have taken will be negated. Any CCs blocked by a forward guard will also be negated as long as you're blocking them in the front. A super armor will keep you protected, but all damage you would normally take will not be absorbed. Like so. You see, I took a bit of damage right there, but it'll be okay. And last, you have an iframe that will protect you from every attack being thrown at you. But do keep in mind that there might be some holes in your iframes now that you're more familiar with protections, here are a few abilities that I highly recommend you use on a Shy for PvE. The first ability is going to be S LMB. S LMB provides you with a forward guard, but also inflicts a minus 35 DP debuff on the mob for 10 seconds. The other ability I recommend would be S RMB. S RMB has a longer forward guard ability and inflicts that minus 35 DP debuff on the mob. The bigger kicker is, it gives you plus 6% evasion for 20 seconds upon using the ability. Now the other ability I recommend would be Shift RMB. Shift RMB gives you a longer super armor and also inflicts the minus 35 DP debuff for 10 seconds. Now this is a must for all PvE shies. You're going to have to make sure you do WF. WF provides you with a super armor, but not only that, a 20% attack speed bonus so you can continue to do damage for a short period of time. Now, as of the boss rush patch, Ashai's iframe and survivability has been significantly increased so you can survive a lot more. Every hop ability that you do, which is shift A, D, W, and S, provides you a PD iframe. Here are the main skills you'll be using most of the time. Twirl. Twirl will allow you to attack while moving sideways. Keep this in mind though, it will not be your main source of damage. This ability is mainly used if you need to move out of danger or regen your mana while maintaining DPS. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 can be thrown up to 3 times by holding down R and B. This ability will be your main source of damage and the attack is stronger with its passive when you reach its third attack, where every hit has a 50% chance of landing a critical strike. Quick 2. 
Quick 2 allows you to quickly evade backwards and throughout your flow ring. This ability is great to reposition yourself or jump back out of harm's way. This ability will protect you with a forward guard and an evasion buff, as well as lowering the DP of the target you are hitting. Hop 3 Hop 3 is similar to Quick 2, it will hop you back a very small distance while spinning the flow ring and blocking attacks in the front. This attack will also lower the DP of the target you are hitting. Twirl 3 Twirl 3 will spin the flow ring forward along with yourself to cover the distance gap between you and the enemy while providing you with immunity to debuffs. This attack will also lower the DP of the target you are hitting. Eat this. Eat this is a great attack to use for big bursts of damage in the middle of your combo. This attack will always crit on hit when attacking monsters. And this ability can also stun, but only when hitting enemy players. Try this. Try this is an amazing AoE skill for a huge bursts of damage with a 100% chance to crit, as well as providing you with an accuracy buff of 6% for 10 seconds. Here are the secondary skills you want to use. Hop. Hop is your primary ability to dodge all incoming PvE attacks, except attacks that would instead force an instant death. Tuck and Roll. Tuck and Roll will provide you with protections from some CCs, but one of the main uses is to provide you with a 20% attack speed increase for 10 seconds. Yippee. Yippee will let you ride your flow ring to reach your destination quicker, but please keep in mind that this ability is unprotected. Play Dead Play Dead, although it will not de aggro monsters, the long instant iframe it provides will keep you safe from big attacks. Out of My Way Out of My Way is an AP buff that you can apply to yourself and up to 10 allies. The amount of AP provided is determined by how many flooring leaves you have. Attacking with certain skills will increase your flooring leaves by 1 point. Every 10 point is considered 1 leaf, up to 3 leaves max. Get Well Get Well is one of the Shai's heals. It can heal you and up to 10 allies for 2100 HP. Cheer Up Cheer Up is one of the Shai's heal over time, healing 300 HP every 5 seconds to you and up to 10 allies over 60 seconds. Stick to me Stick to me becomes available once you've completed the Magnus questline. This is the Shy's strongest healing, not only because of the amount healed, but because of its lower cooldown, super armor, and a plus 50 DP while casting the skill. These are the talent skills that you'll be using the most in PvE. Do it better. Do it better is what other people call their EVA, which has a long cooldown but gives you amazing stats. For Shy's, this provides you enough to 10 allies, plus 30 AP, and 5% special attack damage for 30 seconds. Sun Moon Stars Sun Moon Stars will provide you enough to 10 allies, attack, casting, and move speed for 60 seconds. Shout to the Sky Shout to the Sky will provide you enough to 10 allies with plus 1500 to your max HP, and additionally heal everybody affected with this buff for 150 HP every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. Time to shine. Time to shine will, will provide you and up to 10 allies, Black Spirit Rage regen. Black Spirit Rage are altered attacks that classes have that consumes a percentage of this resource. Summer Rain. Summer Rain will increase up to 10 allies and yourself with debuff resistance by 40% for 60 seconds. An example of resistances would be resistance to stun, grapples, and knockdowns. Misty Haze. Misty Haze is one of the strongest abilities in the game, with a 3 minute cooldown. This ability will debuff up to 10 targets with a minus percentage to their overall evasion and DP for 30 seconds. There are other useful skills in the talent tree, but since they are mostly geared toward PvP, we'll ignore them for now. I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick with the Shy's talent skills. Now I have all of my talent skills on a hotbar. You can put them in any order you want, but this is my setup. Got Sun, Moon, Stars, Shout to the Sky, Rain, and Time to Shine right here. So I want to press 5 on my hotbar to enter my Sun, Moon, Stars. 
Now while having this active, hold F and press ASD. While pressing that, you can see that you have all your talent skills instantly cast right over there. After you have buffed yourself, this is what you want to do. You want to hit WF, Shift C, Shift L and B, R and B once, R and B L and B, WF, rotate your camera, S R and B, and hold R and B. This is what it will look like if done correctly. I'm going to show you now how to use some of these combos in PvE spots. Thank you everybody for watching my beginner guide for Shy. I will start making more videos like this in the future. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I do stream on Twitch, so check me out there as well. I'll leave a link to my stream down below. Remember, you're all amazing. So until next time everybody, have an amazing day.